Let's have some fun. You only live but once. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. It's me, Harrison. Hello, how are you? I said, I asked, how are you? Good, 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 good. Anyway, today I'm going to be discussing man spreading. This woman trying man spreading for a week. Here we go. Let's watch this. Balls. I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. This is going to be a fucking feminist video now, I can tell. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. Shut up! What the f- What's she wearing? You look like a white Pharrell. I had to see it. A white Pharrell! You look like a UFO on the top of your head. The people around you are relegated to a very small portion. A very small portion people around you. Okay, let's see. These people are not complaining. This person here is not complaining. She is on her own seat. He's well not over. Ow. And, but the key to man spreading is not noticing. We grow up. Who's gonna notice? People, men sit there anyway with their legs open because, you know what? We got a fucking penis between our legs and testicles, right? Or, what should I call it? Um. Fucking bull. Up on two different tracks. People who manspread just start socialized not to worry about it. That don't count. He had a fucking jar between his legs. Flask, whatever you bloody call him. I have so many vivid memories as a child of my mum telling me to close my legs. With gender, we're constantly. Well, your mum, right? Don't get me started. Only working towards trying to get to this middle. This week of man spreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist. I it's like girls saying, oh, do you know what? I'm going to have my, I'm going to just like, you know, poke out my, out this area and then not having it poked out. Women, we don't really care. Men, well, we care because obviously you're sticking it tight. But anyway, we don't care if you're doing this or not. So why do you care if we're having this or not? Stop bloody complaining. I want to say it won't. I kind of secretly hope to annoy some men. You're already annoying me, love, with that bloody ear cut in that ear. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to sit for the rest of this video with my legs together. No, no, no. That's a pinch. Oh, that's a f pinch. That's my first train trip as a man spreader. I just. F well done, love. Well done. I feel like a monster already. How can you do this? A monster? Anyway, no, fuck the monster. That's not man spreading. That is just fully lunging your arms out in the place. Maybe not your legs, your arms, but that's not man spreading. It's every day without being conscious of it. I just man spread on the bus for maybe a five minute ride for the first time and it wasn't even half full and I was already getting glared at, so I. No, you were probably getting glared at because you're a woman. And you're quite pretty, so that's probably why. I think this is going to be a kind of long week. It's day two of... Why does she look high? It's day two of... Shut up, Pharrell. White Pharrell. We call you Daisy. Shut up, Daisy. Man spreading and I forgot that I had to do this. Make me comfort you now. Fuck it now. There are a lot of stereotypes surrounding black women and whether or not we're angry or we're dominant. And so maybe. Does she think that's bloody man spreading? I'm gonna carry on what she's. A lot of the reasons why I do minimalize my presence is because I don't want to be. That's what you're fucking supposed to do. Put your leg on that stool. That's a puff. A poof, a puff, whatever the shit is called. That's what you're supposed to do. It's called a leg rest. That's what it's called. Halfway through the week and really not enjoying this experiment at all. I'm still giving my seat up to people who need it. I think they're making this video to take the piss. Are you taking the piss? Come on, knock you out. Because, of course, I am. Day four. What is it between their legs that's so important that it requires. Hang on, let me finish the video. Two to three seats when okay. they're two to three seats. One, 
A fucking massive penis staying there with legs. Two. Right. Let's let's just calm down. Let's see. One seat. This man's taking up one seat. Okay. This booth is for the two seater. This two men. Okay. There's two seats there. Yes, maybe that man there has got his leg up, but that is not manspreading. That is just pulling his leg up because he is a knob. Okay, but these two are not manspreading. His legs are bloody closed. His are partially open, obviously. But he, okay, he's an exception. He's not manspreading, but he's still taking up room. Women are expected to be quiet, small, and... Okay, look at this, right. That's not man's friend. He's got a bag between his legs. He's just protecting his bag. The line probably for the seat Almost is invisible. probably is... halfway on his leg. And that woman who sat next to him there on the left is making... A bloody what's it called? An epileptic. An epilepsy about it. Grow up and grow some tits. Small and almost invisible, whereas men can be this boisterous slobs, okay, and it's that's not man spreading. That's just being a lazy fuck and lying down on the chair. So I've come across another. Oh my god! Give me my sweet. My camera cut out. Anyway. Let's get on with the video. Fred really showed me how up your own ass you have to be as a person to not be conscious of those around you. To the man that's taking up too much space on a bus, on the plane, on the bench, we... Wait, let me stop you there. Oh no. All this room here. It's not existent because this man has opened his legs. <gasps> I'm sorry. I am sorry, but no one can sit there now. CEO. You don't need that much room. To the young women out there, I say you should definitely be aware of your surroundings. If there's something that you want, if there's something you want to say, if there's a position that you want to hold, take up that space. You so you're completely contradicting yourself then. Well then. That's it, boys and girls. Do you know what? All the men out there, man spread. And if they've got a problem with it, fuck them. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If it's the first time you see my ugly face on the screen, subscribe. And then also, you know what to do. If you subscribe, you become a smithy. Oh, this music, man, is back again. I love it. See you in the next one. Peace.